Good to have thank you, sir. Thank you, Father, for absolutely. having me. This is an amazing privilege. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, Tashan, what's so amazing uh, uh, about the 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 world of the spirit is that angels, they are watchers mm -hmm. from God, and they're looking for you to engage your covenant all the time. So when somebody start reading the world word, they're already in the uh, activity that has angelic activity in it. Okay. Number two, when they start sowing seed, mm -hmm. angels increase in that seed sowing. Number three, when there's some element of serving a prophet of God that has angels in innumerable measure around him, the angels that's around that prophet start to come in your life. Oh. How does impartation really happen? The prophet is moving with angels. Mm -hmm. When impartation happens, now those angels start to move with you to give you the advantage the same way they was giving the prophet the advantage. Wow. Now, because prophets... A prophet has so much angels. When the angels are borrowed by you, it doesn't affect the prophet. No. Wow. Because they have different ranks of that same angel in 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 the in the bracket of the workmanship. So there's a workmanship in the angelic. So watch this here. So say say a prophet has sixteen prophetic angels. Sixteen. Yes. If he gives you two prophetic angels. He still has the captain of the prophetic angels with him. He gave you two that leave him with 14. Yes. So the two that come with you are angels that are underneath the captain angel of the prophetic wow. and was taught by the captain how to master in prophecy. So when that angel come alongside of you, that angel is now working its ministry officially and being entrusted with how they minister with you now. So now you have two of the 16 angels that he originally had. Now he's left with 14. He's not losing anything. It's been dispersed to you. Powerful. Wow. So the impartation is giving you a new functionality with how you live and how you move and how you have your being. So how does somebody prepare themselves for impartation? Impartation is a compound word, I impart. I impart. So what you have to look at is I'm is a word that is talking about somebody personally, is identifying you. So if you say I'm in JHM, you just identified yourself in JHM. I'm in Texas. It means that you're taking yourself personified and giving a description of your location. So the word I'm is a personified declaration of your identity. You're talking about what you're doing, where you are. I'm at Walmart. You see, I'm. Yes, yes. So in part, I'm part. So now you have to get a revelation of your part. Before impartation happens, God starts to show you that the part that you've been called to play in the person's life that's imparting to you. Wow. You see? That's powerful, yes. So when you get revelation of the part that you've been called to play, now the impartation can come inside of you without any hindrance, without any wrestling, without any fight, because you had to get an understanding of your image that you've been given and trusted by God and your part, the dimension of functionality, the dynamics of your conduct, what are you called to do? So let me give you an example. Joshua was an assistant, right? Joshua recognized I'm part of solving his problem. Whoa. Whoa. So the impartation happens when Joshua collected that understanding, I'm part of Moses having comfort. I'm part of Moses having clarity. The same way, how does David receive impartation from Samuel? 
because God saw Dan David saying, when he killed the bear that was trying to kill the sheep and he killed the lion that was trying to destroy the, destroy the sheep. And David said, I'm part of protecting God's creation. I'm part of protecting God's sheep. Now the impartation comes from Samuel. So God is telling Samuel, go anoint one of the sons of Jesse, which is David, because David had recognized his image of God realm and the part he was called to play. And so now Samuel can impart to it. Wow. What you see there, son? What, what's on your heart? So I'm seeing here that when you when you receive your part, yeah, you have to receive your part first. You get a revelation of your part and then you get the impartation. Yes. And the impartation that's that's the angels as well. Mm -hmm. And those angels are there to bring you to that next dimension and help you in your journey. And those angels that are with you, they come from your prophet. Yeah. And so they are there to take you through those stages, those seasons of your life that you're gonna go through and help you the same way they help the prophet of God. So it's that. just as easy for you as it is for the prophet of God. Exactly. Because how is Elisha able to see the king coming to take his head off? Wow. That was Elijah's ability previously, to see that deep. Yes. Wow. To, be, to have eyes open in the spirit, to see visions and to understand what was going on. So how is he able to see that clear? So think about it. That sight system is being transferred because impartation. My God. Wow. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But... What did Elisha do? I'm part of Elijah's pleasure. I'm part of Elijah's schedule. I'm part of Elijah's teachings. I'm part of Elijah's his, his section of learning when he's teaching, when he's mentoring, when he's training. I'm part of that. I'm part of his inspiration. So when people, and, and see, that's why John got an impartation from Jesus. Because John recognized I'm part of making sure that Jesus feels that his teaching is not going down the drain. What? I'm going to stay committed to it. Yes. I'm going to let Jesus see me doing it, even though the other disciples may be fighting with it. Thomas might not really be believing. Judas acting a fool. Peter denying him. But I'm part of loyalty, longevity, love. Purity. You see that? Yes, I see that. So John used I'm part revelation My for the impartation. Wow. <laughs> so you could do that same thing even with you. Yeah. As you as Prophet Joshua Holmes, as your leader, as my leader, I have to operate in my part to get that impartation. That's powerful. Wow. Wow. And that's why I was saying, even when they're misunderstandings, mm -hmm. you never miss your understanding. Wow. Yes, yes, that's powerful. That's you see powerful. that? Mm -hmm. Whenever there's misunderstandings, you never miss your understanding. Mm -hmm. If you have understanding, you have sealed your purity for the rest of your days in your assignment. Understanding means I recognize the part I'm called to fulfill. And now the impartation that keeps coming to me. And then, son, I want to talk about this real quick before we get off of here. Everybody has to recognize when your oil is low. Did you know that if we have a car for a long time, uh, there are signs show up on the car that say that oil change is required. Yes. Or you'll get a message say that you need to change your oil. Or even when you go get an oil change, the mechanic will leave a sticker on the top of your window say, well, we did the oil change this time. You come back three months later. Cars do not have continual oil. Wow. Neither does man. Wow. You see? Wow. So, so when, when, when the Lord gives you a part to play, the oil runs out in that part. Whoa. And that's why the Bible say in John chapter 15 that when I'm having you bear fruit, I purge you to bear more fruit. How do I bear more fruit? I need more oil. So that means that the oil ran low and the purging 
is God now confronting you so that you can receive the new transmission, the new translation of oil, wow. that it can enter you. Wow. So God gets new oil to you through confrontation. So he confronts you in order to give you, no, he confronts you, the Lord say, to clothe you. Because you need a new garment. That's powerful. This is mighty. Wow. wow. You see that, son? Wow. You got anything you want to say to the people before we go on? Uh, yeah, that's this this powerful what prophet's teaching us here. It's mm -hmm. it's amazing. And yeah, same like how he said, like if you have a car, your car gonna run out of oil. Mm -hmm. Right? And and you have to first remove that oil that's been there for a while and it's draining and remove that oil to get new oil. And that's the same thing with man, as he said. That's powerful. That's just a powerful revelation. That's amazing. Glory to God. Keep that part that you call to play, that good thing. That's what the word God say. That good thing that you have received from the Holy Ghost. 